Hey guys, Joel Bridenwell here. Thanks for joining me on Finance Friday. Theology Thursday, I, le I looked at the extent of the atonement, uh, which can be a bit controversial. Take a look at that, give me your feedback, and make any comments you'd like to. And on uh, Monday, I'll be dealing with Marriage and Family Monday and one key issue in marriage. So I'll look forward to being with you then. Uh, on uh, Finance Friday, let me talk to you about uh, giving beyond the tithe. So, uh, Scripture talks about giving sacrificially, like in 2 Corinthians chapters 8 and 9. Paul commends the Macedonians for their support of his ministry as he continued to move out. That's Macedonia is kind of the uh, northern section of modern-day Greece, uh, just west of Turkey. And in Corinth was the uh, southern or southwestern portion of Greece where he was ministering. He's writing to Corinth saying, hey, even the Macedonians supported me. And and support me beyond uh, what normal giving might be, which I believe biblically is the tithe, would be the bare minimum. That's another video I've dealt with before. But sacrificial giving would be on top of that. And there's not a percent given because it's different for everyone. For somebody, 11% uh, may be sacrificial giving or 13% or 15 or 20 or 30% if they're, if they're quite wealthy and such. Um, giving sacrificially, giving uh, above so that it really, uh, really makes you tighten things up on your own budget. Uh, maybe do without some of the things you would like to have because you give to support the Lord's work, whether that's through the local church, which I believe is the primary responsibility of believers to support, or whether that's parachurch organizations and, and ministries that uh, need uh, financial support to continue on uh, with the task God's given them, whether that's a pregnancy care center or a Christian radio station, or a Christian school, or anything along those lines. Uh, but that's sacrificial giving. And again, it's different for everybody. I actually was talking with someone recently who uh, gives and rounds up the 10% the, the and rounds up to the nearest $5. So, uh, so they got a small $107 check, and they were going to give, instead of $10.70, they're just going to round it up to $15. Well, he actually miscommunicated and told his wife to write a $115 check. 115 of 107, that's actually more than 100%. So that was kind of funny. I said, I'm not even sure what the Bible has for that because that, that's that's given beyond what you have, not just the, the widow who gave everything she had in her two months. It's given that and then some uh, from that particular uh, uh, salary or that particular paycheck. So uh, whatever uh, God allows you in terms of your own wealth and pros prosperity to give, to give sacrificially, uh, Paul commends that and says, don't do it so that um, you know, you're complaining about it or you feel like you're forced to do so, but do so cheerfully, for God loves a cheerful giver. And that, of course, models what God's done for us in Jesus. He cheerfully gave Jesus into the world to walk in our shoes and, uh, and then ultimately die in our place. So, and he did that cheerfully out of love and out of care and mercy toward us. So I pray you can do the same as, as God blesses you to turn around and bless those in need to expand the gospel of the kingdom. All right. God bless you. Thanks for being with me. Talk to you again soon.